Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we got here to Violet City. And, uh, I'm just doing something real quick, but whatever I got there. Anyway, I did a grinding montage, as you saw, and oh my god, it was painful. <laughs> it was insanely painful. Let's just check up on our team. We've got, in our first slot, we've got Monica the Starly, who grew to level 6. I gave her a few levels because I needed it. With Peck, Rolling Kick, Spiderweb, and Me Meteor Mash. Bleh, at the end of that, I had to go up against some, uh, <clears throat> go up against some, uh, Tyrogues, and, uh, it's not fun. When they have a uh, super effective silver wind on you with if it crits, you're dead. Okay. Then we've got Bjorn, our starter uh, Blastoise with Psybeam Hyper Voice. Got rid of Bone Rush because honestly, you know, fucking, it's not, it's not going to do anything. Uh, it has Hyper Voice, Iron Head, Attack Order with Super Luck and a Razor Fang. So, you know, supposedly doubles the flinch. Uh, well, not doubles it, but, you know, gives you more flinch rate, but it didn't work. So, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Okay. And finally, we have... Sundara. It evolved into Magikarp off-screen. <laughs> so guess what I have to do now? 253 epi episodes. Experience. Okay, kind of weird. Normal rock now, not water rock, so less coverage. This Sundara is going to test my patience. Which, I don't want that. So I guess it was a red herring that, you know, I caught I caught it as it killed Amira. But here's the thing. I could make things better for myself um, with um, this. Uh, we are going to switch the camera. Uh, now. There we go. There it is. Uh, so what is this? This is the spinner. Uh, the spinner. Uh, I decided to do it this episode because, you know, whatever. Um... Suppo I thought I was going to have to face Falconer, but no, you have to go Sprout Tower first, so whatever. Anyway, we're going to hit up the spinner, and oh, oh, that's going to that's gonna make a lot of noise. Okay. So we got life insurance! Yes! We get a bonus! So, yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, basically in the description of the video um, was a zip uh, containing the randomization and the log file. But in there is also a description for everything the spinner does. So, uh, I got life insurance, but, you know, I'll explain them as I get them. Life insurance means for one battle, um, if anything, you know, I can insure myself for that battle in case something ridiculous happens or, you know, I know it's going to be hard or something, but whatever. But basically, in this episode, we're going to be heading off to Sprout Tower. Now, I would have preferred if I could have gotten a resurrection to get um, a mirror back, but whatever. It's fine. Also, Robert died! There you go. <laughs> Robert dead. But, you know, I don't care. So we gotta go up to get to Sprout Tower. So do we have a route beforehand? Nope, it's just straight to Sprout Tower. Uh... I don't know if we can have any encounters in there. Let's see. I, oh yeah, I need to get potions. Right, I completely forgot. I need to get potions. Because those Tyrogues also took my potion. I also found an... Yeah, uh, excuse me. I almost found an... I, uh, almost. I also found an upgrade. Which, if I ever bump into Porygon, I might be able to evolve it, technically, because I I guess they treat, like, trade items also like hold items, like uh, stones or whatever. I don't know. Oh, my God. <sighs> I can buy neither. I can only buy one potion. Tyrogues! Okay. Well, at least I didn't get a power outage. Dear God. That would have been horrible. Uh, I can go over here? I feel like they stop you. What do you say? Plants are also living things. They would want to move around from time to time. Uh, okay. I am not going to go over there to that route, supposedly, if it's a route, because personally, I feel like I want to save my life. Okay, it's next to the gym, so whatever. Anyway, let's go to Sprout Tower. Hopefully there's no encounters here, because if there is, then... Monica has to... It's not, that's not a creepy theme at all. You aren't completely spooking me with this. Oh. A bow sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that because it became the middle pillar here. Look at it. It's not anything. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Alright, nobody battles here, thank god. 
Yeah, the Asian influence became clear when this game happened. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you're a trainer. Yep. Okay. Alright, I don't feel like dying today. Ranger Jasmine. Taylor. You're just a Taylor, a level 3 Taylor. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with the Meteor Mash. Let's see what happens. Neutral. Okay, spikes. I shouldn't have to worry about. I shouldn't have to worry about you having. You have three Mons. Ugh. If it says next Pokemon has Tyrogue, then... oh, but that means Charizard. Uh, not Charizard. Uh, Bajoran gets hit with. Okay, Houndour. I'm gonna have to keep battling, otherwise something's gonna get hurt by spikes. I mean, oh. Yeah. Flinch. Shit. Okay, doesn't do that much damage. Triple kick sucks! Okay, don't do that again, please. Don't miss. Okay. Uh, you wanna fuck with me? Okay, please flinch. Please get a flinch. Get a flinch or a crit. Okay, do not kill. Please, do not get a crit. Or don't do whatever bull honky you did at the end. Okay, two times. Uh, we're gonna have to use a potion. Which, I don't wanna use a potion, but I have to. So I don't know why it would forewarn itself of Meteor Mash if it's dark, if it's, uh, dark. Stop recovering, it's just annoying. Okay, Monica, get a flinch. You flinched earlier. Yes! There we go, it's over. Wow, that was irritating. Fucking, if it didn't do all that bull honky stuff with triple kick. Alright, there we go. Monica's getting levels here, though. Eevee. Okay, here we go. Eevee the cheesy thingy. Let's see if Eevee is also cheesy in this game. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with a Meteor Mash. Resisted. Critical hit. Okay, this is a hard-hitting move. Please, Monica. Please. You have increased defense. Okay, crit earthquake didn't even do that much. Okay, super effective with rolling kick. Good job, Monica. Monica, sweet. That was real. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't even want to go on, because how much money do I have now? 514, that means... Uh, <gasps> ah! Oh, there is an encounter here. Okay, never mind, Sprout Tower encounter is dupes. Okay, big old bag of dupes. Does that mean, like, because I'm pretty sure you can only bump into Bellsprout, meaning, is it just a bunch of Whismers? So, and if so, that means... No matter what I'm do gonna do, I'm gonna call dupes on it. Alright, whatever. Uh, might as well heal at the PC, just so I can save some money. I mean, I don't expect to beat all of Sprout Tower at once. So I have not used my life insurance yet. I gotta remember, I do have a life insurance. So, there you go. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay, getting here. It starts off pretty menacingly, but then it calms down. Okay, an encounter? Is it another Wismer? It's another Wismer. Nope, not- I don't want the bad memories. Mm-mm, not gonna do it. If I want my Wismer back, I'm gonna get my Wismer back. Oh, actually the- Okay, an energy root. I'm pretty sure your Pokemon hate you if you take that. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I can sell stuff. Alright. That's an encounter. Or encounter, a battle. We got this tower. Rush. Okay, Ranger Joe. Shelf. Nah, uh, everybody has stupid shit. Alright, we're gonna hit it with the Meteor Mash. Neutral. Raise the attack. Okay. Pluck you. <laughs> okay. 
Ooh, attack boost. Give me something weak. Give me something weak to my types. Chimchar. Uh, I don't know what that is. I want to use this attack boost, though. This is probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Okay, we both missed. Uh, Rock Tomb wouldn't have done anything except lowered my speed, which would have been dickish, but whatever. Boom! Attack boosted Monica. There's no way in hell this could be a bad thing. Smooch him. I'm gonna keep battling. Uh, honestly, there's no immunities with steel, so whatever. I guess it's good to just always try to hit. Ooh, good reads. Good freaking reads. Well, actually, it's not really a read when it's luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. It's good luck when you uh, somehow land super effective attacks. Hunt. Um, the hell, man. A Firestone! I'll take it. So, uh, I think the game is about to go black soon. So, uh, I'm just gonna hit up that save button real quick. Just save the game. Oh, it fixed itself! I guess making myself go sedentary for a little bit? Nope, it's still glitchy. Okay. Wow, that is some horrible placement. <laughs> I think I might have made a mistake. Okay, glam, glamiow. What are you? I mean, I know glamiow, but uh oh, assets are missing. Flinch, pluck again. None of the assets are appearing. <laughs> this is so weird. No. Okay, I got it out of there. Machop. I am not not gonna risk anything anymore with Monica. Not gonna risk anything. We're just gonna go into Bajorn and battle with Bajorn only. Wow, none of the assets are appearing. This is so weird. Alright, neutral Psybeam. It's dead. Okay. Ooh, wow, this is weird. Ball toy, we're gonna keep battling. So Machop and Tyrogue seem to be uh, Monica, Monica's worst nightmares. Okay, there we go. A cuckoo. Okay, this is gonna be black screen. Yep, I knew it was gonna be black screen. Okay, so we're gonna save. Again. Okay. Just so I don't have to do that battle again, we're gonna open the game. And... Open the game. And there we go. Fixed it. Oh, but then I don't want to face silver. Do I want to face silver with Monica being hurt? How much money do I have? How much money? No. I need to check my card. That's what I want. $700. That's two potions I can buy. Okay, let me just grab this. A focus sash! Dude, that's a great item to have. That's a real good item. That's like... Uh... Honestly, I don't know if I... Let me give that to Monica. Or actually, should I give that to Sundara, actually? Mm, okay, I'm also gonna go around and rearrange Monica's moves. Uh, we're gonna switch you with you, and then you with you, and then you with you with... There. Alright. Honestly, I want to give it to Sundara. Hmm. Then again, both of those are there. I mean, they are buffed and whatnot. You know. Oh, you have Overgrow. Okay. 
And then magma armor does not help him at all. Okay. Uh, I may as well just have the money to buy potions later. So we may as well just use what we got. Oh, okay. So energy root is just a last case thing. Um, do I want to risk dying trying to get down here from like an explosion? Better to be safe than sorry. It is better to be safe than sorry. Because, you know. I mean, it's gonna take more time to get down there. We'll probably bump into another Wismer. Unless it's not another Wismer. Then if it's not another... Fuck. If it's not another Wismer, then what the hell am I doing wrong? Okay, another encounter. Is it another Wismer? It's a Jigglypuff. Okay. I remember fighting Igglybuff. It wasn't fun. Alright. I don't care if Bajoran can't hit anything. Mega Drain. That, um... Well, that means I'm not catching this thing. Uh, okay. Honestly, I don't care if I don't catch you. Let's try Dive Ball. Why not? This could end up being luck, right? This could be lucky. Nah. Nope. Alright. Okay, doesn't affect Bajoran. So it's ground type. Your ghost. Meaning a psi beam would be neutral and it would kill you. Okay. I can't go into Sundara because it's brown. Okay. So uh Psy Beam's gonna kill you. Iron Head's gonna kill you. Everything's gonna kill you. If you die, then I don't care. Because honestly, I mean it's Moonstone Eva. Okay, never mind. Uh you're gonna mega drain your health back, but fucking at this point, I'm not gonna argue. Oh, it only heals one HP. Oh you're right, I'm flying type. Okay, let's go. The dive ball is mostly for jokes. Because it's like, how am I supposed to know if something's water type? Hey! We got an we got captured! Nice! So I don't know where we're gonna find a moonstone, but if I do find if I do find a moonstone. Alright, Mase Masego. It is pure ghost. Looking into its cute round eyes causes it to sing a relaxing melody, inducing its enemies to sleep. That actually works for it being ghost type. Okay, so, uh, Masego? Masego. Masego. That does work for it being female. So, you know what? I'm not gonna object. Okay. If it's something hyper than Jigglypuff, I quit. Okay, it's another Wismer. So I feel like I got the rare encounter, which, honestly, I'm glad it was that, because it's level 5 as opposed to level 3. Meaning, I don't have to train for hours and hours and hours to try to just get it to level 10, you know. So, whatever. Which means now we're back up to a squad of four. So, okay. I mean, we gain one, lose one. I mean, if we keep this traction going, I mean, it, you know. Monica currently looks like she's going to put up a decent fight to try to stay alive. So, whatever. My dad is cooking something, and I bet it's either breakfast again. <laughs> Or it's gonna be beggars. Which I want it to be the latter, but probably not. Seems like also he's shaking the pan around, which insinuates breakfast. Or not. I don't know. Would it be funny if I just did a series commenting how... Just doing a commentary on how we cook meals? <laughs> I don't know. Do, do okay? Uh, actually, I should go check this Jigglypuff out. I mean, it has... It's Ghost type, and it has Mega Drain. Power Swap, Hidden Power, Mega Drain, and Present. Okay. Yeah, that's bullshit. Own Tempo, no confusion. Okay, alright, that could be interesting. I'll probably raise you and Monica and maybe Sundara off screen. Because, hell, I'm not gonna do another grinding montage again. That was... I only did a grinding montage mostly so that we could see Sundara's evolution and, you know, probably some bullshit. And, uh, there's definitely a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I mean, Robert dying to a Tyrogue was, uh... It was sad, because I completely forgot they had Silverwind. I trained to fight an enlightenment Pokemon. Guess what? You're not getting it. <laughs> okay. Chimchar again? You died to a rolling kick, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's a level 6 Chimchar, so I don't want to play around. Neutral. Gla oh! 
Don't even. Don't even with this bull hockey. Oh, Jesus. There, spider web. You're not getting out of here. Well, that's, that's actually pretty wasteful. Oh, no. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm gonna run away. I am getting TF out of here. Would this hurt Sundara? Uh, nah, I'm gonna go into Bajoran. I'm gonna go into Bajoran because it couldn't hurt him. Razor Leaf, I avoided it. Psybeam doesn't affect, so you're dark something. You were dark, and yet rolling and yet rolling kick was neutral. So I don't get it. Oh, Bajorn, come on, bro. We need you here. We need you here. We need you to up your game, man. We need you to do this. Okay, throw out a hyper voice. It is effective, so you're not Dark Ghost. Actually, I wouldn't have been able to hit him if it was Dark Ghost. Uh, Fury Cutter, how much damage is it gonna do? Still one point. Fucking Bajorn, man. Iron Head. If I would have just been able to kill him with a Meteor Mash to begin with... Okay, never mind. It would have been neutral. Oh yeah, the only reason I one-shot at him was because I had the, um, raise from Meteor Mash. Okay. Never mind. Revelations. So, I think I'm gonna use that potion now, because I'm pretty sure I have over a thousand bucks. Almost a thousand bucks. So, when I'm done with this, it should be enough to, uh, you know, make some logical sense. Okay. And we're gonna have to use both Paralyze heals. Which sucks, but then again, you know. Seems like you can't even buy supplies in Gen 4 games. It's like... It's like you want medication? T -t Tough luck. Oh, okay, do they give you Flash after this? I don't want to teach anybody Flash. I could teach Robert Flash. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is your only Mon, if it isn't. Okay, there we go. Let's hit it with the Meteor Mash. Newt. Alright. Okay. Good. Good job, Monica. Good job. Lay this thing to rest. Get that sweet level up. Was that Thunderbolt? What the actual hell? <laughs> We're getting rid of Peck. We're getting rid of Peck. Wow, um... She just learned T-Bolt. Um, okay. Alright, Monica. I think you're good for the day. Let's just put in Masego and do switch training with Masego. Let's do that. And probably we're gonna switch into uh, Bajorn most of the time. Sil. No, it's Golnar! Golnar! Yeah, I realized in the last episode when I tried to say his name, I kept fucking it up. This is gonna be a, um. Friggin'. This is gonna be a, uh. 30 minute episode. That was a download. Uh, let's go to Bajorn, because I don't feel safe now, because we had that do not have anything bullshit confusion. Okay. Okay, didn't confuse, so that's good at least. Are you psychic? If this resists, you're psychic. No, it didn't resist, so you just have confusion for no reason. Sweet kiss, that would have confused me, so whatever, weak to steal. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Okay. Zigzagoon. We're gonna go back to Masego. Hope to God nothing has Tyrogue. Or any Mon with Shadow Tag, for that matter. If this has Shadow Tag, I sue. I'm going to sue. Okay, alright. No Shadow Tag. We're good. We're good. Tackle. Alright, this should do one point of damage. Two. It's off by one. Alright, so we can... So we can hit with Hyper Voice, and it's one shot. Okay. I don't know why I didn't play the AQ for the level up, but whatever. Uh, I don't want to risk... Never mind. I was gonna switch my Sego out, but I guess not. You showed us what you've got. It is indeed good. Take this TM. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. <laughs> He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon like 
Every time. Thristum don't mean anything to me. Golnar used an escape rope. Okay, thank God he used an escape rope. Well, that means I have to battle this guy? Okay, a white flute. What does that mean? Uh, I feel like this guy's gonna battle me. So, you know... I might want to use the life insurance against him. But what does a white flute do? More likely to make Pokemon appear. Okay, so that's if I'm getting desperate. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I'm the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Okay, last battle. I am using my life insurance against this guy. No matter what happens, I am safe. Manager Alex has a Talo. A level 7 Talo. I fought a Talo. What are you weak to? I feel like he's weak to steel. I feel like you're weak to steel. I should not keep going to Bajoran, because that'll kill him. Bubble Beam. Alright, does no damage. Mm! And he got the speed drop. That's not good. Alright, neutral on Iron Head. It kills. Alright, critical hit. Masego, getting these levels. Torchic. Alright. So basically, switch training in Wild Encounters is the worst thing in the world. Okay. I feel like I fought Torchic before, but no, that was Chimchar. I'm gonna give Sundara a shot. Watch him die right now. Well, actually, you know what? I shouldn't I shouldn't be that pained. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hit it with a nice beam, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I have life insurance up, so whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Not very effective. Assurance. Okay. Alright, hit it with the blast burn. Please just die. Alright, it's neutral. Does no damage. So you're gonna be able to hit me with two assurances. Or dark pulse. So you're dark type. That means I want to go to Monica? I'm gonna go to Monica. Okay. Sundara, you tried, but you failed. Alright, resist. One point. Rolling kick. Oh, great. Was it not? Okay. Alright, reflect. Uh, Still probably gonna be able to... Never mind, I missed. Alright, so this should resist. This should do like three points of damage. Four. <laughs> Why do I keep missing these things by one? Eh, it doesn't matter. The, the Torchic is down. The Torchic is out. Nidoran male. Oh, I faced a bunch of females, but not male! Okay, Masego. Masego, just get this level. Bleh! Level 10? Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad I raised Bajoran to level 11. Protect. Okay, I'm glad that failed. Fuck you. Alright. Didn't get a double protect, which I like. Night Slash. Not gonna do anything. Don't crit. Please hit. Yes! Bajoran, kill. Kill. Please kill. Yes! Thank God, Bjorn. Bjorn is such a badass. It wouldn't have mattered if he would have died anyway, because I have a life insurance, but whatever. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. You should be able to make use of this. It's called. It's a TM called Flash. Take it with you. Can't do anything Dark Cave, though, because you need Rock Smash. So, I don't care. When a Pokemon loons Flash, you can eliminate keys no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Oh, that's actually really good advice. They teach you... They tell you what Pokemon you can catch so that you don't have to use one of your team members for Flash. I mean, sure, it's cheating if you if you catch an HM Slave. You know, you just have to use one of your reserve Pokemon as an HM Slave. Probably like what I'm going to end up doing to Robert if he can learn uh, HMs. Fuck. Because guess what? I ain't playing 7th Gen anytime soon on the channel, so you know what? That means in every single Pokemon game, I have to deal with goddamn HMs. Which, I mean, it's kind of sad that Surf is kind of gone in Sun and Moon meta, but, you know, probably that's why they probably updated the um, amount of water moves in the bank, didn't they? Alright, whatever. So there we go, that's probably, this is probably a 30-40 minute episode right here, but hey, you know what? It didn't have any deaths, well, technically no deaths. Well, actually, we did earlier, but that was the grinding montage, so forget about it. It wasn't that major. Robert was kind of a nuisance. Uh, anyway, we went through the Sprout Tower. We got Masego. Hopefully, she can become a nice, useful team member if we end up finding a Moonstone. 
but I believe that's going to be just about it for this episode. So, next time on the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are actually going to take on Faulkner's Gym. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.